uh, welcome everybody now in this session we will be discussing as what is going to be the admission procedure for 2017 and whether it is going to be different from 2016 of course there are many of us who are really not aware of uh, what was the procedure in 2016 or even earlier to that let me brief you in all this manner that the admission will be conducted in the uh, computerized manner that online form has to be filled though the documents are to be verified in person but once you do that job then the procedure will be totally online and only when you are allotted the seat you are required to report to the center and you will have to confirm your option freeze float or slide of course we will come to all that in a short while now admission procedure it starts with first of all document verification giving all your 12th marks 10th marks cet and je scores and whether you want to apply for the all india quota even that question will be asked when you are going for the very first uh, not round but the admission process step 1 we will say now in this particular step 1 once you fill all your document upload your documents get them verified uh, for which you will be given almost 15 to 20 days then the merit list will be displayed and then we actually start with the admission process that is the allotment rounds so first round is in a way first step is just the preliminary that you are eligible and you will get the merit number the eligibility criteria is simple it is you should secure 50% marks in your 12th that is hsc in subjects physics chemistry and maths and of course for chemistry there is a option that you could opt for biology or any of the voca vocational subject that is only for the eligibility reason that particular those marks that percentage does not carry any weightage so far as the allotment or merit number is concerned so once we are through with this and we get the merit number which clearly says that we are now eligible for the admission process and the next stage that is round 1 will begin where you are required to give the options now how to give the options that will not be the part of this particular session but we will be only talking about the rules now when they say that there will be only three rounds which are to be conducted we will have to understand as why there are three rounds and what are going to what things are going to change during these three rounds in the very first round though we are talking about the admission allotment rounds there are going to be several stages within the round itself and those stages are also applicable in a different manner to the general institutes and to the minority institutes but we will be discussing these rules as a overview there are going to be in all nine stages internally wherein we will be considering the stage 1 all the candidates will be considered at par and the seats which are g open h and g open l rather g open h and l open h those seats will be allotted similarly uh, g open o and l open o now what is this g open h g open o g stands for general category o is open and h is home university whereas when we say g open o it means general category open seat and it will be for other than home university candidate similarly there will be ai seat which is called as the all india seat so stage 1 it will be for all candidates they will be taken at par and as per the merit the seats will be allotted and if the general open seats or ladies open seats get over then they will be treated in the respective categories that if the open seat is not available then the obc candidate for him they will check whether the general obc seat is available and so on once these all the categories are allotted that is one particular uh, pass is over of the merit list they go for the sbc category which does not have a specific reservation but it will be part of obc and any seats remaining vacant they will be allotted to sbc candidates then there will be persons of disability 
the physically handicapped seats will be allotted to the physically handicapped candidates defense seats will be allotted to the defense seats and if the seat is available for a candidate in more than one category then seat allotment will be done for seat for ladies seats for personal disability and seat for defense that is the overall stage 1 and in stage 2 it will be for the allotment of seats for the female to male candidates in the respective reservation these are stage 1 and stage 2 out of the nine stages that we have and only these two stages will be carried out in round 1 whereas in round two they will be going again with stage 1 stage 2 and will continue up to stage 5 the stage 5 uh, stage 3 is specifically for sbc category stage 4 is it there will be grouping of the reservation categories like sc st will be one group then vj and nta ntb that will be another group and then ntc ntd and obc that is nt2 nt3 and obc will be the third group and the seats will be allotted among them as a group and then there will be stage 5 which will be for all the reservation candidates they will be grouped together and the reservation seats will be allotted to the reservation candidates only but it will not be for the respective category also remember that by stage 5 the open candidates are not getting any of the seat which is remaining vacant through the reservation or through the defense or through the physically handicap so in round 2 we are just reaching stage number 5 in round 3 there will be all the 8 or 9 stages that will be carried forward and in stage number 6 it will be again physically handicapped seats those will be allotted and if they are remaining vacant they will be allotted to matlab within the physically handicapped there are two three categories so those seats will be allotted among themselves in stage 7 all candidates without any reservation type seats those are remaining vacant they will be allotted on the merit and in stage 8 without any candidature type the seats remaining vacant should be allotted to all the all india candidates that is stage 8 now these are the eight stages which are going to be carried in this admission process in round 1 there will be only two stages round 2 there will be five and in round 3 there will be eight stages now uh, we are talking of when will these seats be remaining vacant and when they can be allotted to the particular category or even to open candidates and when these defense seats or physical handicap seats will be uh, transferred to the general category and so at the same times one has to remember that why the seats will become vacant if at all they are getting vacant at the top colleges like even coep or vjti sardar patel pict and what not of course the processes of admission to engineering colleges in maharashtra this particular process will run in parallel with the process uh, which is for the admission to iit and nit and obviously many of you are also applying through to the nits and those who are appearing for advance jee advance they will be even trying for iits now it will all depend as when are those rounds getting conducted and whether they are in parallel with us that is they are completing round 1 and our round 1 completes probably at that time there is nothing not not much of the difference that will make that will be made or there will not be any effect in our admission process because by that time everybody will be applying to the seats in maharashtra and then when iit nit round 2 round 3 is getting over at that time those who have secured the top seats in maharashtra they are likely to opt out from this particular process and those seats are likely to get vacant so remember that whatever is happening in round 1 may not be exactly the final thing but also remember that there could be some students who are not filling the option form properly so they may not be getting any allotment in round 1 and then they will be in between when you go to the round number 2 or round number 3 
remember that there will be some seats in the reservation which will be transferred to the open category and there will be seats in physically handicapped those will be transferred to the open category as we do not generally find those many students even some seats from all india category are also likely to get transferred and so probably round 3 will be the final uh, allotment we can say and so one has to plan properly we will have to give the options correctly these rounds are carried out in the computerized manner though you are opting for the state seat as well as the all india seat still you will be getting only one allotment that is the best among the CET and all india in all india seats there is no reservation there is no reservation for the categories there is no ladies reservation it will be only on the basis of the mains and we expect that this entire process will end by july end we expect that the round one will be carried on in the very first week of july so go through these rules all these rules will be available on the website dt website and if you have any doubt you can always refer to trialallotment.com or you can send us mail and we are there to explain you each and everything of it thank you